The McCarthy mess drags on for a second day. Congressional GOP members are still gridlocked over their vote for a House Speaker. A core group of conservatives delivering defeat after defeat to Republican leader Kevin McCarthy in his quest for the gavel. It's an embarrassing blow to the House majority that's thrown both the party and its agenda into chaos. Today, members again put forward an alternative candidate, Republican Representative Byron Donalds of Florida, who received a consistent 20 votes during the multiple ballots, and Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries of New York getting unanimous support from his caucus. Several prominent leaders of the GOP today urged McCarthy to make a deal with the members opposing his speakership or step aside, while former President Donald Trump told him to hold on, personally calling his defectors and telling them to, quote, knock it off. Even President Biden today calling it an embarrassment, but none of it seems to be ending the impasse, one that hasn't happened in a hundred years, and is keeping all congressional business at a standstill. Senior correspondent Joanna Gagas has been at the Capitol for the last two days and has the latest on the stalemate. Joanna. Rihanna, it's day two of the House proceedings for the 118th Congress that did anything but proceed today. Once again, elected representatives waiting to be sworn into office, some for the first time. And that's because Republicans still cannot agree on who should be the next Speaker of the House. Representative Kevin McCarthy still unable to secure any of the votes against him that today now all went to Florida Congressman Byron Donalds. And you know, you have to ask if the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. Well, then what are Republicans thinking as they held not one, not two, not three, but six votes that all ended with the same result? No, Speaker of the House. The Republicans are flying by the seat of their pants at this point. You've got 20 holdouts on uh, Kevin McCarthy uh, who seem to be unshakable. Um, and that, that's, a, that's a, uh, a barrier that he does not seem to be able to get over. Even after three votes yesterday, three votes today, and former President Donald Trump this morning urging Republicans to unite behind McCarthy, he still couldn't win the majority vote. We reached out to all of New Jersey's Republican delegation, Congressman Chris Smith, Jeff Van Drew, and freshman Congressman Tom Kane Jr., who's yet to be formally sworn in. None responded to our request for an interview, but all were unwavering in their support for McCarthy over the last two days. But New Jersey's Democratic delegates say this inability to get government going is concerning. Our country deserves better. They had basically two months since Election Day to sort this out. And the fact that they couldn't should be really worrying, not just about the speaker vote, but about everything that comes next. And it's just laid out for all of America to watch. But what's really sad is it's actually hampering our ability to do our job. You know, I have yet to be sworn in as a member of Congress for my third term. I cannot introduce any legislation. I cannot vote on any legislation. Has anyone from the Republican Party reached out to you or any of your Democratic colleagues asking for support for a speaker? Uh, I can only speak for myself, and, and the answer is no. Uh, they have not reached out to me, I've not had any conversations. I do not know of anybody on the Democratic side who has received any outreach. Um, honestly, I would imagine that, that that would actually make it even harder for them to gain votes. If they were, you know, if Kevin McCarthy or someone else was starting to seek Democratic support, I imagine he would, you know, they would crater in terms of the Republican supports. I've not heard of that, and I would probably be somebody that would be approached um, just given that you know, I have some good relationships with Republicans. So if they were kind of feeling people out, we might have some conversations. I think what we're waiting to see is sort of where this is headed. Uh, maybe there's a better candidate than McCarthy, um, somebody that's more moderate and, and hasn't engendered the anger in the extreme of the party so maybe could stand up a little, you know, wouldn't have to give away the whole shop to the extreme of the party. Maybe there's somebody that would reach out to a handful of Democrats so that they don't have to uh, kowtow to the extreme right. It's the Freedom Caucus that's pushing back on McCarthy and Rutgers political science professor Ross Baker says. But the Freedom Caucus has a, just has a different agenda. Uh, and I don't think anybody quite knows what it is. Uh, I think that among the among the 20, there are there are very different kinds of reasons why they oppose him. 
sir, you do not have the votes and it's time to withdraw. McCarthy supporters saying this discord could threaten their party. I feel at this time we risk a worse outcome if we cannot unite behind the man that has helped us achieve these substantive reforms. Reforms that offer all of us, this whole body, hope for change in this broken status quo. Reforms that our voters have demanded, reforms that we've worked hard together to achieve, and finally reforms that we risk forfeiting if we do not work together as Republicans to elect the next Speaker of the House. So the day ended exactly as it started, a deep divide with no end in sight. The question now is who can secure the support of Republicans to lead this chamber and get government going the way the Constitution intended? That's a question with no answer.